A West Valley City neighborhood on alert tonight. Several parents are speaking out about concerning behavior by one of their neighbors at a school bus stop. That man wearing a semi-automatic rifle when he approached the bus stop with dozens of children. New specialist Garna Mejia joining us now live with that story. Garna? Ashley, residents describe this as an escalating situation. For weeks, their neighbor has been parading up and down the street with his firearms, but now they say he's taking it too far. He took it to the extent of getting a radar gun and clocking neighbors. What started off with a neighbor concerned about speeding cars has gradually intensified, say residents like Dion Sandal. One specific day, he was just standing out on the corner with his gun. Sandal says the neighbor started walking around the neighborhood with his semi-automatic rifle. Then twice this week, he showed up at the bus stop where dozens of children gather. Sandal's daughter took this picture. Causing fear, causing, I mean, I can't imagine the kids that got on that bus crying yesterday. One of the other moms showed me a picture of her daughter crying before she got on the bus. And that just that broke my heart. Concerned parents say the man doesn't have children who ride that bus and multiple moms confronted him. So the second amendment protective activity. West Valley City Police said there is nothing they can do as the man is within his rights and hasn't broken the law. KSL legal analyst Greg Scorda says Utah is an open carry state. Until you cross the line into threatening or harassing behavior, if, for example, you brandish the firearm. And I know that that doesn't really answer the question or maybe help the, the citizens when a person's carrying a firearm near their children. Uh, but the Second Amendment really gives tremendous rights to gun owners. Sandal and other parents are concerned the situation will spiral out of control. When will he take it too far? It's not a matter of if. A lot of parents are scared as a matter of when. And the Granite School District uh, tells me that they're uh, watching the situation very closely. Um, I actually learned that the uh, vice principal for the school from the school rode home with some of these children a few days ago. And for the rest of the week, they're going to have uh, patrol units uh, escort the bus into the neighborhood to uh, ensure that the situation doesn't escalate. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, no doubt. Families in that neighborhood are concerned. All right, Garna, thanks for that report.